welcome, or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl, Penny, and this is my awesome dad. George. Dad, where are we today? Taco Bell. Guys, that is right. We are at Taco Bell. Okay, we are trying out these new Aardvark nacho fries. You know start to itch too, yeah. right, right when we get started. That's yeah. what mine always does. So it's the secret Aardvark nacho fries, guys. It's new. We had to try it. I got a couple requests for it. I think I got a couple secret, uh, I don't know if I want to say secret wishful people thinking that I'm going to get burned out on these. I'm going to, it's going to be too hot for me, but we'll find out if it is or not. Um, and I also got a, uh, dragon fruit freeze. Now I'm not too sure if I, it's really beautiful color guys, really beautiful color. I'm not too sure if this is going to be too hot. So I needed something that if my mouth gets on fire, hopefully this will put it out. Okay. Let's talk really quick of what's on this and then I'm gonna hand this to dad, guys. So this is a secret aardvark sauce. It is, a, it's a hot sauce company out of Portland, Oregon, guys. Portland, mm. Oregon, I believe. Um, what was I gonna say? It's a um, ranch, it's a ranch based sauce made with green tomatoes, serrano peppers, roasted tomatillos, garlic, green habanero, habaneros, jalapenos, lime juice, cilantro, and spices. And I heard that this, they're just saying it's, a, it, the, the name of the sauce is a secret aardvark sir, sarabanro, sarabanro, I don't know how to say this name guys, sarabanro, I don't know, ranch sauce, <laughs> secret Aardvark Cerebrar Brand. I can't say it. Ranch sauce. Okay, guys, I'm going to hand this to Dad. I'm going to let him try to stab at this thing. I am doing one thing, though, Daddy. There's some sour cream here, and I'm going to kind of like move it around so you don't mm -hmm. maybe get all one bite of sour cream. Okay, so just a little container and the fork I just stabbed in the front there. Okay, okay. You got her? Okay. Guys, they put, uh, with that hot sauce, they put slow roasted chicken on here, the three cheese blend, that aardvark sauce, nacho cheese sauce, sour cream, and pico de gallo. And here in Ohio, they're charging $5.49 for these. I'm going to find my fork if I can so I can get started. Dad's already going to town. And we're going to... We're going to taste test this for you guys. We're going to rate it one being the worst, 10 being the best, or somewhere in between. And we're going to tell you what we like or don't like about it. And we're also going to let you know how hot this, this new aardvark, aardvark, aardvark sauce tastes like. How, how spicy is it? Man. I'm always afraid I'm going to drop these containers when I'm trying to get the lid off of them. I also got a side of sour cream in case mine are too hot. <laughs> oh, I almost dropped mine. I almost did. Okay, Dad's still going. I got it right here. Okay. It's right here on your knee. I wouldn't even worry about it. I would just go ahead and eat, day. Eh? <laughs> okay. It's got a little spice to it. A little kick. I actually like the flavor of it, okay? I actually like the flavor of it. It's a little tangy. It's got some spice. Okay.
It's got some spice, guys. Ooh, a little spicy. It's not really bad because like, I think the sour cream is helping me a little bit here. The, the sour cream definitely help. Yeah. The sour cream and the nacho cheese. Their nacho cheese has a little spice to it too, but I think the creaminess of the nacho cheese is kind of keeping down the heat level a little bit. Do you like the flavor of this, Daddy? Mm-hmm. I do too. I like the flavor of this. Little chunks of chicken in it. That's pretty good too. Okay, you keep going in the same spot. Come up this way. Mm -hmm. up, up this way, Daddy. Up. You gotta stab it, honey. I think you gotta stab it. This is gonna be on the floor. I don't know. I know. It, this is going to be on the floor. You got to hold it up a little bit. Okay. You gotta hold it up a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Come here in the middle. In the middle, day. No. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to help him get his spites in. It's It's hard. I'm doing pretty good on it. Okay. If you have a problem with spice, you definitely don't want to get this. Okay? If you are very sensitive to spice, you don't want to get this. But if you do like spice, this might be right up your alley. Let me see if I can help you. It's like all at one side. You keep wanting to go in the same, the same spot. <laughs> Okay. okay, so I pushed it all down to that okay. side that you were working on, so hopefully it'll be a little easier. And I think it'll work better if you like stab it, not try to scoop it. So if you're new to the channel, guys, I always put up a little thing. Some people don't read it or not. Um, Dad has macular degeneration. Excuse me. It's a progressive vision loss. Okay, and I want to bring awareness to it a little bit here. Um, it's hereditary. Uh, my uncle, my dad's brother also had it. And dad has it. Uh, it is, like I said, a progressive vision loss. Some people, it doesn't go... Some people it doesn't go all the way to complete blindness, and some people it kind of gets so far, you know, it starts out and it gets so far and it stops. Um, that's how. That's kind of what happened to my uncle. My uncle, he got you know blind, you know, pretty blind. He had to use a cane and stuff, a um, blind cane and stuff. But my uncle could still, I think, see a few little things. Okay, that is at the point where. He's not seeing, like, he can't see the stuff in that bowl. He sees, a, he sees a dark object. It's probably, like, really foggy looking, and he can't see the stuff in that bowl. Now, like I said, it's hereditary. Um, every year when I get my eyes checked, I tell them, hey, this is in my family. You know, please check for it. And I'm okay as of now. Um, but I don't think Dad started until, like, in his later 60s. Okay, and I'm I'm gonna be 52 here soon. I don't mind saying my age. I put the time in, guys. I put the time in. But um, so I keep a check on I keep check on it when I get my eyes uh, checked. So if you find out you have macular degeneration in your family, 
please, when you go get your eyes checked yearly or every two years or whatever, if you have it in your family, I recommend you at least get your eyes checked once a year, okay? Um, because if they find it soon enough, there are some surgeries. There are also non-surgeries. There's some medicines that they got that help slow the progression. I don't think it cures it. But I think there are some things that they can try on you to help slow the progression if it's caught soon enough, okay? So, we just want to bring awareness to it. Um, like I said, it's called macular degeneration. And I'm not trying to bring anybody down. I just want people to, to know about it because we didn't know about this. We really didn't understand it when my uncle started with it and when dad started with it. We didn't understand that they should have been getting their eyes checked more, you know, but... Obviously, there was probably somebody else in their, our family that had it, and we didn't know, you know, so. I want to take a drink of this uh, while Dad's finishing up this, uh, what's it called? A dragon fruit? I can never remember. Dragon fruit freeze, guys. This is a large, I wanted to tell you what they're charging for those. If it's not happy hour, they're $3.99 here in Ohio. I can't remember if I tried this one or not, but I'll let you know if I like it or not. If you like dragon fruit flavored, okay, so this is like super sweet dragon fruit, but it's still got that little tanginess of dragon fruit. It's pretty good. If you like dragon fruit flavor, this one is pretty good. Um, I'm not a big dragon fruit fan, but I would drink this one, and I recommend it, especially if you know you like dragon fruit, and if you can handle that really sweet syrupy taste, you know. But it tastes pretty good. It doesn't taste super, it doesn't taste chemically. Some of these things do taste chemically. So this one doesn't taste quite as chemically. Be careful. Babe. Um, I recommend this one though. I, I'm gonna have to give it like an eight out of 10. It's pretty good. There's some other flavors that they've had that I didn't like as much as this one, but this one's pretty good. I think you got it all pretty much. Here, let me help you with your last little bite. Yeah. I think there's only like a couple little scraps. It'd be hard to find that. Can you form it? Yeah, go ahead and open up. Okay. And I'll push it. <laughs> you got it, guys. He clean that up. Now nah, I'm really dying to hear what he has to say. It's pretty good. Okay. Let's let's get a drink here. I'm sure you need a drink. Well, he ate the whole, this whole order. I got so. it all over my nose. <laughs> you did a good job. You did a good job. So, it is pretty good. I agree with that. Like I said, if you have a spice problem, don't get these, okay? If you're really sensitive to spice. And I like to explain, explain the spice levels, okay, guys? I always try to explain the spice levels. Mild, medium, and hot. And me and Dad, if it stays, doesn't get any hotter than medium, we usually enjoy it, okay? So if it goes hot, you know, hotter than medium into the hot level, then that's when we say we don't like it because you can't taste the food, right? Um, I believe this is definitely in the medium range, don't you, Dad? I do, do. Um, it's not like the hottest medium. It's kind of like somewhere in the right in that smack dab in the center of medium, okay, as far as hotness. That's why I was able to keep eating it. If it had been like getting hotter and hotter, you know, then I would have I would have stopped eating. And if it would have been close to hot, I'd have been or a tear would come out of my eye. That's what I do when, I, when it gets too hot. So I believe it's right smack dab in the medium range. How do you think of the taste of that, Daddy? Uh, would... They tasted pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the spicing. Mm -hmm. The spicing is, is hot. Uh, it, was, it was mild, it was really hot. Well, it's medium. Medium. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's medium. It's, it's, it, you know, it gets a little warm on your tongue. You're, you're, it, it leaves, uh, leaves a little tongue, a 
a little tingle. A little warmth, at the top. right. A little, just a tiny bit warmth in the back of your throat. It's mostly on your tongue and on your gums. I didn't feel no burning on my mouth, like outside of my mouth. Sometimes when something's so hot, even if I don't touch it on the outside of my mouth, it still gets on my my mouth. So on the outside of my mouth. So it's mostly on your tongue and just a slight in the back of your throat. So it's pretty enjoyable if you can handle some spice, okay? I enjoy the chicken. Mm -hmm, I did too. I enjoy the chicken. That it was really good with the sauce. Yeah. The, the uh, potatoes. The or French the, fries. The French fries mm -hmm. was uh, great with the sauce. So and, he, the, and the, the sour sauce, uh, no, sour cream and sour, sour cream. cream and the chicken. So I, this is what I'm, I'm kind of deciphered from that. It it tastes good together. It all tastes right, good together. Right. Yes, it all goes good together, guys. It all goes good together. I think this new Aardvark sauce, like Dad said, it's got some. It's got some depth to it. It's got. If I am wanting something like this, I really would uh, would order it again. I would get this again. I would get this again. If I wanted some uh, mild uh, seasoning, well, it's in it's in the medium, Daddy. Uh, it's the, I think it's definitely in the medium. It's going to medium. I think it's in medium. Yeah, I think it is. Cause you can feel a little. Okay, it's definitely in the medium. The okay. sour cream, the sour cream don't want to help the uh, Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. um, it, the, that aardvark sauce I had never had before, it makes me want to, I know they have them on Amazon. I, they probably have a website too, aardvark hot sauces or whatever. It makes me want to try some of their hot sauces because that's got good flavor to it. it I can does. taste like, I can it taste does. the garlic. Yeah. It's got a little tanginess to it, but not super tangy. So I would like to try some of their hot sauces on other stuff. You know what I mean? Like when I make tacos at home and maybe have some of that sauce where I could put it on myself. Um, it makes me want to try some of their stuff. And I, I would get this again. I, I think this is one of the better spicy nacho loaded fried type things that they've had. <laughs> not too long ago, they had that, I think it was yellow birds something or another. And that was just hot. I didn't get much flavor out of it as I'm getting out of this. Okay, so I really like this one. Do you got it? Let me... It was flavorful all the way through. It was season. The season was uh, it was there. Yeah, it's got some the, good flavor. The spices was there, mm -hmm. but it was seasoning was there as far as the the material. Yeah. Um. Chicken and the nice with the, the French fries. Yeah, all those good together. Oh, it really, really was good. Um, it was really good. I'm trying to think of a score out of ten. Hold on, Dad. I you, think about your score. Yeah. Um, I would get this again, and I enjoyed this. Okay, Dad. What score out of ten would you give these? I'd give it a nine. A nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. I agree, guys. That's the number I'm going to give it. It's a 9 out of 10. I can't give it a perfect 10. Um, it's loaded fries. You know what I mean? Like, it's not it's not like, super exciting, you know what I mean, to give it a perfect 10. But I think it deserves a 9 out of 10. It tastes really good. Just like I said, it's in the medium range, okay, of spiciness. So if you can't handle spice or you're really sensitive to spice, you're not going to want this. Because I'm telling you right now, I do feel like a little warmth <laughs> down in my tummy. <laughs> Just a little warmth. Not bad. But um, I enjoyed those and I would get them again. Because I they, would do. They, they, were, they were in the enjoyable heat range for me. And the flavor of it. Like Dad says, the flavor of it is good. So that's it. The <laughs> flavor of it stayed with you. Mm -hmm. Uh, the seasoning, uh, it got a little hot, mm -hmm. a little uh, mild, medium, oh, medium, medium. Yeah, I, I think it, I, yeah, I, don't know what I it think is. it stays in uh, mild, medium, and hot. Mild, medium. Yeah. So medium, I think it stays in the medium. Right. I know, like I, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's burning too much. If it starts going into hot, you see, me, it, you'll see me stop eating. The medium. The yeah. seasoning stays there. Yeah. 
yeah they taste good guys try them out if you like some spice in your life you like that little kick of flavor I think you're gonna like these um, I would endorse them to say if that's what if you like spicy stuff try these out let us know if you've tried them let us know if you want to try them now that you've seen us review them um, I think they're pretty good I do too okay. I do I uh, recommend them I recommend them highly. Um, I did have one more question for Dad. So these were five forty nine. Dad has a big appetite, and you he ate his whole order. Okay, I got a couple more bites, but Dad ate his whole order. How do you feel, Dad? You can't be like over stuff, but you gotta be. You feel half? I mean, pretty full. And it's pretty full. Okay. Pretty full. Okay. So you're not overly stuffed. No, and... I'm not overstuffed. So you're I'm, satisfied for I'm, now. I'm satisfied. For okay, a while. that's kind of how I am right now. I. I have like two or three more bites left, and but I don't eat as much at one time as Dad does. So I mean, for five forty nine, you know, yeah, that's pretty if, good. If you want like yeah. a, a a lunch that will hold you over, that's not too expensive. This might be it for you. I don't know, but it's doing us today. So, <laughs> okay, guys, Dad, you already let these guys go. Yeah, very much. Okay, guys, we hope you all have a great lunch. A great dinner or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow. And God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.